Hello world, hello YouTube land, uh, just read Ghosted 3. There we go, it's Ghosted number 3. The gorgeous front cover, with uh, a bit of a Ouija board going on there, there's some ghosts and real people mixing up. Uh, which is the story of the book really, ghosts and real people mixing up in a big old haunted house. So what happens in Ghosted number 3 by Joshua Williamson and Goran Suzuka. Mr. Suzuka is the artist and a brilliant job he's doing as well. What happens? Well we have um, a bit of hanging. Uh, we have a uh, bit of breast. <laughs> we have a uh, bit of food. Oh, mumbo, jumbo. Yeah, a bit of food. Uh, what else do we have? A bit of con art history. This by um, this trick part of the uh, the group of the people in the house. Yes, I am being deliberately fake. I am being deliberately fake. So I don't like to do lots of spoilers in my reviews. Uh, we have um, gorgeous artwork and demons. Did someone die? Oh, I don't know. Did someone get hanged? Oh, I don't know. Who is she? Is she a ghost? Well, she seems to have skeleton hands. So I guess so. Oh dear. Our main protagonist is spooked. Has been possessed by the spirit of this lady? I don't know. And at the end, there's a proposition about what the group can do next to get a ghost. So, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the plot. I'm not going to talk about uh, the details. I'm just going to leave that, leave the, leave the hints out there about what happens. Uh, what you need to know about Ghosted number three is that um, it's as excellent as Ghosted number one and Ghosted number two. Um, it's very, very entertaining, and the art is brilliant, and we still have the quality paper as well. So that's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Ghosted number three, eight out of ten for me. Um, still good. Still well worth picking up. Okay, that's it. I'll be back later with another review. Goodbye.